want to talk about social innovation and social entrepreneurship. I do believe that business will move the great mass of humanity forward. Business is not often seen as a solution, but the truth is business can scale, so business can deal with the biggest social problems. I sit on the board of advisors for a startup company in South Africa, Cecelo Melo. Cecelo Melo provides growth well to low-income communities in South Africa to improve their health and safety. Today, the poorest 3 billion people in the world have to rely on dangerous, toxic and polluting fossil fuels for daily household use. How do you solve this massive problem? That's where the social enterprises co come in. Cecilio Melo's vision is to replace the paraffin fuel in the cooking stove of household by biofuel, one for one. Cecilio Melo creates shared value from collection of waste vegetable oil to production and distribution of biofuel. In doing so, they create economic value by building a local economy around the locally produced biofuel, and they simultaneously create a social value by reducing the toxicity of the air. What Cicelo Melo does, we can all do it. Finding those opportunities which create the greatest possibility to have a social impact by running an enterprise. Thank you. Everything I do professionally has been shaped by five years of work as a CEO of Health Promoter, a non-profit organization which aims to prevent illness in the slums of Southern Africa. Many projects we led in South Africa failed. I didn't understand first. We were good people and we were doing good jobs in Africa, but why didn't it work? Because we didn't listen to the voice of stakeholders. Over the past five years, I have learned the importance of stakeholders, no matter whether they are directly involved in the project or indirectly affected by it. For example, today we partner with a small startup in the slums of Southern Africa. Cecilo Melo. Cecilo Melo knew no one can start a business alone. They started with professors and doctors, local NGOs like us. Current paraffin distributors and end customers, women living in the informal settlements, are the most influent stakeholders. Cecilo Melo wants to incentivize them to distribute biofuel instead of paraffin. The competition is also affected by the activities of state Cecilio Melo. The direct competition is the paraffin producers, but none of them produce locally. So Cecilio Melo has a very marginal effect on their activity. The Southern African government, as well as the Global Alliance for Cookstoves, focus on reducing paraffin consumption, not on replacing it. So Cecilio Melo offered a more sustainable solution. Nobody in the world can succeed alone. We have to create a community around different stakeholders so we can activate the power of communities. Thank you. Hello, my name is Chonke, and I live in the township of Mamilodi in South Africa. Like me, 2.5 million of people in the region of Gauteng live in slums. Our main energy source is paraffin. Sometimes we hear about the danger of paraffin for our health and safety, but what can we do is cheap. Recently, I took part in a customer survey with Cicelo Melo and they told me about how their business strategies can improve my life. So there are five strategies. The first one is to collect waste vegetable oil from the food processing industry. The second one is to set up local facilities in the community. The third one is to produce biofuel that can be used with the same cook stove that we are currently using with paraffin. The fourth one is that they will use the existing distributors of paraffin and organizations that are selling cook stove to distribute Cicelo Melo. And finally, they will educate the customers about the dangers of fossil fuels and how we can manipulate fuels easily. So as a result, Cicelo Melo can produce biofuel at low cost and they can sell it at a cheaper price to the community, cheaper than paraffin. So biofuel is less toxic than paraffin and it has a higher level of ignition. As a result, by using biofuel, we will decrease the rate of respiratory disease in our community and also decrease the rate of burns and fires. So people can have jobs in the factories and they will be able to 
have more money for health, education, food, and other leisures. So now, thanks to the business strategies of Cicero Melo, we will be aware of the danger of fossil fuels, and we will also have access to um, an alternative fuel that is cheap and healthy and safe. I don't know for I don't know for you, but I can't wait to start using Cicero Melo because it will keep me healthy and safe. Thank you. As a doctor, I face the need to create an impact. This is necessary to assess, at the end of the day, the quality of my work and how many people I helped. I recently have been approached by three social entrepreneurs who just launched their startup in South Africa and want to assess the potential positive and negative social and environmental impact of their activities. Given the mission of Cicelo Mello, we decided to focus on three main impacts. The impact on the health of the low-income communities they're serving, the impact on the safety of these households regarding fire accidents, and the economic impact and driver behind purchasing choices. These three impact areas are the most important and are correlated. And without proper monitoring and measuring, the company's mission will not be achieved. Now, how can they do that? So let's look at fire safety, for example. To assess the impact of biofuel and household security, we need to look at the number of fires in low-income households per month before and after Sosolo Mello. Uh, verify if there was any difference in the number of fires before and after, and then take the number of liters of biofuel sold and the number of liters of paraffin sold. Compare this ratio with the number of fire incidents before and after. Sosolo Mello could partner with the local fire department, hospitals and clinics to have access to the number of fire cases and injuries in a certain region to get this data. We hope these key indicators will help Solomelo measure and monitor the performance and impact. And why is this important? Because we need to be accountable to be social entrepreneurs. Thank you. What Dr. Carrera was explaining in the test before was a new social science. It's a social science that recognizes the complexity of human actions. It's a new science which will create fundamental change. For Solomelo, the quality uh, parameter we consider is the decreased in the percentage of um, toxins produced by the fuel used by the households. The quantitative metrics we use is the average number of persons per household in South Africa, which we use partly. Based on our research mm -hmm. with the Sosolo Melo, founders, we learned, we learned uh, that the average household in South Africa use one liter of paraffin per day. So, we assumed that they use 365 liters of paraffin per year. This estimation of local uh, total paraffin uh, consumed in South Africa in 2015 is 500 million liters and 44% of what was consumed by low-income communities. So, we estimate that 1.4 million households in South Africa used paraffin in 2015. For the optimistic scenario, we consider that the potential total impacted population is the average number of people or households in South Africa consuming paraffin. The conservative, uh, conservative scenario is reduced to the average number of people living in low-income households in South Africa consuming paraffin. We are now able to use the traditional economic vocabulary to study a tricky set of social problems. Thank you. As a social impact assessment consultant, I came across Cicelo Melo while I was working with the Clean Cook Stoves Revolution in South Africa. We believe that the addressable market of Cicelo Melo is too ambitious because there's not yet working proof. During the pilot year, customers will still have to evaluate the performance of the biofuel apart from the pricing and smells. Although Cicelo Melo could be able to produce a great alternative to paraffin, this distribution network still has to incorporate the biofuels on their shelves, which they'll only do if the profit margin is higher. Moreover, with the increasing number of renewable resources, the number of people using paraffin could decrease in the forecasting years, but not just because of Cicelomelo, but other alternatives. Our recommendations to improve analysis and to mitigate the potential negative social environmental impacts are surveys of distributors to determine the profit margin on paraffin versus biofuels, how the sale of biofuels can negatively or positively impact their income. Surveys of customers about how much time they need to spend cooking using the final product of Cicelo Melo Biofuel versus paraffin to determine other criteria that they might take into account while making their purchasing decisions. Better analysis of demand competition of the supply 
through interviews because other industries also use used vegetable oil and can be negatively affected by the activities of Cicelomeno. Constant feedback. Tracking about the quality and quantity of Cicelomeno and the efficiency of their distribution network. Better analysis of the competitors and how Cicelomeno's activities could affect the jobs of people working in paraffin production today. Constant updates about the changes in renewable energy policy in South Africa because more and more initiatives are rising and it might affect the profitability, efficacy or the potential of Sosello Menlo. I would just like to end my remarks by saying that a growth mindset is a great idea for building a successful social enterprise. But we need more. That's the work that stands before us today. We need them to take our best ideas and we need them to test them. We need them to measure whether we've been successful and whether we've been willing to fail, to be wrong, to start again all over with the lessons learned.